about we did this uh, tutorial on uh, how to create a green screen without a green screen as you can see uh, right uh, on my screen this is uh, how I made my recordings I put a light on my face so that's being a little bit better um, and for the rest I don't have anything and the good thing is that zoom has this option right now with a virtual background so if you choose a virtual background in zoom and you just start a zoom meeting just by yourself um, then you can have this option when you do that you can uh, import a custom image uh, right over here you can even do videos and write in the call but it doesn't make sense because you want to do that in post so you just uh, google green screen image and you find something like this you put that behind and you're having a green screen recording so then in zoom you have the option to record it um, and when you record the zoom call then later on you can just find the recording back and have your green screen recording without a green screen so um, that's what i did and then i like to uh, use this inside 3d vista and put myself behind this monitor to talk so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to remove what's there right now so this is going to be gone for now it's not important um, so this is my recording this has still been shot with my laptop uh, webcam not with the phone that I'm doing it right now with you can even use your phone as a webcam but that's for another tutorial <laughs> I've been figuring that out um, so the quality should be better now um, but still you know it's about the idea uh, so I've recorded myself here, as you can see. Welcome to my virtual tour with a green screen. Okay, so, well, you get the point. I'm talking a bit there. And this is just, you know, the recording. Uh, I edited a little bit in Adobe Premiere to crop it a bit more. Uh, but you don't have to. As long as everything's green, it's important. So you select the video, then you put it somewhere here, here, and here then you might play around with this make it a bit higher because it's going to stretch your video file so if you do it like this you're gonna have a very long face so you have to play around with this and see what's actually nice i think this will do uh, but i'm not sure and then next thing to do is apply chroma edit chroma welcome to my virtual tour uh, and then use this thing to select the exact uh, green screen color that you're using because you might have googled another green screen that's just a bit darker or lighter you have to play around with these settings I'm just going to put it a bit like this maybe a little bit smoothing nah, it's dangerous to use smoothing ah, but, well, something like this uh, and then save I always do play on start sometimes I don't, then I trigger it but you know and then I'm just going to control preview this so you know I don't have to go to the first scene and then click to the next and the next and the next control preview Jesus Christ Welcome to my virtual tour with the green screen presenter I'm your host Ronald and I'll guide you through this tour so well my presenting skills are a bit basic <laughs> but you get the point you know it's working um, so yeah in this case I haven't been using the proper webcam so I could redo this also well you have to watch out with your hair I mean I like my hair like this but if I'm gonna put my hair like this yeah, it's going to look a bit bad you know and the same goes with the fingers when I do this it's going to show these bugs so you have to watch out for these things but hey you're not paying for a green screen or any expensive stuff so get what you pay for but this is still a way to do it you know 